Hello everyone, it is Journal HG here, and welcome back to West of Loathing, where we are in Wandering Sally's, uh, area, which I've already bought everything that I want. Do I have a lock? Yes, I have a lock. Just in case. But anyway, I did a bunch of farming off camera, and I got, I got, uh, well, I got enough money, I got enough meat to purchase my, to plate my tongue with silver. Got th plus three moxie permanently from that. And then, uh... Your tongue is actually silver. Well silver plated, but you'll be able to convince people it's really silver. <laughs> I also got fan hammer, uh, bartering skill, and safe kraken. And I also got a ton of XP. Right now I have 443, but I've gotten, like, well over a thousand. Uh, and let's... Let's go with this one. And with safe kraken, I think I'm going to... Go to Silversmith's house. I think he had a safe that was worth checking out. Oh, and I also discovered a few new areas. He did have a safe. Crack the safe! Five silver nuggets. Neat. I'd say that was worth it. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and go to the railroad camp because that's that's what we've been needing to do this entire time. And we're, we're this is episode five and we haven't done that. So... Why don't I just use my WASD? This guy should never be put in charge of a switch. <laughs> He's too busy with his watch to get any work done. Ask where he got it. Say, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this gal who runs a store down south here. Name, name a Button Willow. Button Willow make, make something. Oh yeah, I know that store. Yep, a real nice store. Real nice watch. Goes back to fiddling with his watch. She's not getting much track leg, but she's an expert whistler. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there anything I could do to, if there was anything I could do to help. You wanna know something? I love trains. Oh? Ever since I was a little boy. Huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the option or, when the opportunity arose to take on management of this train ride, I jumped on it like a shot. And you you know what I learned? What is that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the butt you will ever imagine. You wanna help? Congratulations, you're an informant. I'm gonna go home and play with my models. Okay, so what's this guy talking about? I guess I'm the boss now? Man looks you up and down. Well now, I suppose you can't be any worse than the, that last clown. He extends his hand. Name's Smee. I'm your assistant. Does that does that make me Captain Hook? Anyway, uh, what's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't m miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say there isn't isn't any other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around it even we, if we had the months it'd take. Any ideas? Well, but my calculations, we can dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'd take a lot of dynamite. A whole year's worth, I'd figure. We used to keep that much on hand for emergencies such as this one, but a bag of goblins stole it all. Sneaky little varmints. Alright, I'll get it back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up in Gustafsson Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might want to spend some time getting the lay of the land and honing your fighting skills before you head that way. Especially if you're planning going guns and blazing. We don't need that specific dynamite, though. You can lay your if any you can lay your hands on be fine so long as there's enough of it. I'll look into it. Gustafsson Ranch Gulch. Gustafsson Gulch. Fancily dressed goblin mayor. Goblin sets forward. Hi, hello, ba meeting a mayor. Welcome. Now going away, please. Uh, goblin seems friendly, but blocks your entry into the gulch. Talk to the goblin. Can I not come again? Sorry, only for goblins being very private. Trick him into leaving. Hey, though, outside the gorge, I, I was seeing a thing you liking a lot. Oh, what thing? What thing do you liking a lot? Hmm, pies? There are pies all over out there, being. This would this seeming dubious, but would, but would neglectful being to not check it out. The mayor takes a fork out of his pocket and leaves. Okay, then. Nothing interesting in Goblin. You hear a quiet rustling as though a single goblin were, rum were rummaging through a crate filled with straw. Go in and beat the straw out of it. <laughs> Alright, so time to use my fan hammer ability. <laughs> that was easy. 50 XP. You did through the crates the, the goblin was rummaging through. But there's nothing interesting in any of them. Rats. So I guess the sign was telling the truth. Nothing interesting. Library. Uh, go inside. 
The shack is filled with crude bookshelves. The bookshelves, in turn, are filled with crude books. Three titles catch your attention. Very complicated numbers. How to bird noise. Alice going to, into a sea in glass. How to bird noise. This book is an extremely detailed tr treatise on the sounds that different birds make. You probably wouldn't expect to learn how to do an accurate, great, crested grebe impression from a book, but that's how detailed it is. <laughs> Three titles catch your attention. All you can tell about this book is that it concerns extremely high-level mathematics. You don't have the vocabulary to understand any of it, and probably still wouldn't if it was written in English. Your brother would probably love it. Oh yeah, I do have a brother, apparently. Alice going into the seeing glass. This popular children's novel has been translated into Goblin. Jabberwo Jabberwocky still reads pretty much the same. Oh, it, it brillig being and toves and slithing did in a way gyring and also... Okay. Uh, stop browsing. There's nothing else there. Delicatessen. So this would probably be the food court. Rats, the door's locked. You make short work of the lock. Goblin sandwiches. But I don't want that. Storage. That would probably be where the dynamite is. Uh, shack filled with thousands of tiny cabinets, each labeled with a number in Goblin. Look in, more <laughs> look in a random drawer. Gulch Goblin Lollipop. Alright, so I guess that's all. But then where would the TNT be? Red Herring Storage in Goblin. You hear a couple of goblins rustle around in there. It sounds like they're doing something really important. Interrupt them. Oh, they're magics. They are magics. Pew, pew. Pew. Oh, by the way, I got... I got her pretty good leveled up, too. Uh, she's ranked four now, because I, I was able to find some... some cows to attack as well. 30 XP. You look around the building, but it just turns out to be filled with rotting fish. Ouch. Mayor's house. Check it out. This shack contains a bed and a desk. It's made of cactus logs with a blanket made of woven together cactus needles. That can't be comfortable. Important secrets. You read a variety of secrets, though the only one that's actually pertinent to the circumstances is that there's a spare key to a treasure cave in drawer... To a blah in the storage hut. 69105. Okay. Uh, Gust Gustafsson Gulch Treasure Cave Key. Spare. Ah! Meh. Alright, so apparently there's nothing left in there. And press your ear to the door and hear somebody delivering what well, sounds like lines from Hamlet, except in goblin tongue. From this vantage point, you also notice the sign next to the door reading, Backstage entrance, here it being, with an arrow pointing to the back of the building. Let's head backstage. You sneak backstage and watch the play from behind a curtain. Not only is it a goblin version of Hamlet, it's also been rewritten as a one-man show. <laughs> To being or not to being? Oh, that is a question. Could it better thinking to suffering a crazy things or end arrows? Or fighting so many bad things for stopping them because fighting? To dying, to sleeping, to sleeping, hey! Dreaming, dreaming maybe. But oh, problems if dreaming crazy when living. What dreams having after dying? Wow, pretty weird, probably. You watch for a while. There's the bits where the actor, actor has to do a sword fight with themselves is pretty entertaining. <laughs> ah, we've got a cafe here. Listen at the door, don't hear anything. Ah, I need a needle. Need a needle. I need a needle. Guard barracks. Head in guns a blazing. Yeah. Only got three guys. Uh this guy could be a serious problem, so. Kill him. Oh shoot! There's a cactus in front of him. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so this is going to be a, a bit tougher than I thought. Um, I'm going to need some more action points. Alright, let's go ahead and throw some TNT. There we go. Got rid of the guy behind the cactus. So that's good. 
Uh, 15 use units of poison. Let's just use that. Poison by 15. Heal your target for 15 HP. Uh, plus 15 poison on your target. Let's just go ahead and attack this guy. And have her shoot that guy. And I win! Gustav and Gold's treasure cave key. So, I... So I didn't need any more. Okay. Oh! Head inside. Treasure cave, this door is to remaining locked at all times. Okay. Ooh. Godwin's paying more attention to their book, Goblet, than to you, but you're pretty sure you're gonna... Be, you aren't gonna be just waltz, waltzing on by. Let's spoil the ending for them. Hey, Goblet, good book. What thinking about how Goratio is only su is only surviving one at the end? Everyone else dying, poisoning, sorting, pow, blame. Ah, no, wow, spoilers. Dark runs out of the caves with hands over their ears. <laughs> bird call skills. This Goblin guard is whittling a, a little wooden bird call, but they aren't too busy. But 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 they're not too busy to beat you up and try to get past them. Oh, gasp! A great crescent crabe. Wow! Pulls out a pair of binoculars, I see the firm, and runs out of the cave. <laughs> wow. Unlike the two other guys, this one is very attentive. Gene? Seems very suspicious of you. I'll, I'll come back. Alright, so, went ahead and got some... No, I wanna go... Net. Went ahead and got some needles, so that... Jump in and see what you find. Bunch of stuff. So now I can use my lockpick on what I needed to over here. Uh, that's the library. Which one is the one that was locked? Aha, this one. You make sure, short work of the lock. You enter what turns out to be a cafe and reconstruct a few cups of chicory from the leavings in various dirty cups and sinks. You stop to wonder why a cafe wouldn't be open at this time of day. You see a schedule posted on the wall, and sure enough, it says somebody named Gene is supposed to be working this shift. He always was a shiftless lay about that, Gene. Goblin Chicory. Speed, but reduces your muscle miscount. Oh, no, why would I want that? Jeez. Hey, Gene, you're supposed to be at work. Hey, Gene, you're supposed to be- you're supposing working at cafe today. You forgetting? Oh, wow! Oh, no! Goblin quickly takes off their guard uniform and turns on a cafe uniform and races out of the cave. Ah. Careful, these things are pointy. Bunch of meat. Your supply of dynamite! There we go. Goblin tiara. Goblin engagement ring. And I need one more lockpick. Alright, so these guys don't have any needles, so I guess I'll just go ahead and... Uh, wave of heat hits you from behind. Ooh! Another cow. <laughs> and I win. Susie cards another notch into the stock of her rifle. Alright, so now we got what we needed. So, year supply of dynamite. Here you go. Good, perfect. This this will do the trick just fine. Hang back up for a bit and while I get the fellows to set up the charges and I'll let you do the honors. Sweet. Don't wait, uh, don't you have a longer detonator cable? <laughs> nope. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three cap before you hit the plunger so I have time to get under the train. Alright. Do it! Oh. Hornswoggle. There's a very large and very angry looking thing, guy, standing there. Apparently it's a little peeved at having a year supply of dynamite blown up next to his butt while it was sleeping. Uh, I'm gonna hornswoggle. You gotta get out of here. There's a huge flood coming down the mountain pass. You'll be worn down to the smooth round pebbles. Don't worry about us. Just save yourself. <laughs> Rock monster stomps away in panic. All in a day's work. Alright. Manifest Destiny Railroad Camp. Company Camp. Uh, thanks for came, I just got ride the train. Got a ticket? Ha, ah, just kidding, of course you don't. Every seat on the train sold out. Sorry, boss. Ooh, what is this? Rains over to triumph over that crazy rock pile guy. Okay, so... Let's figure out what they need now. Ha ha ha. So riding down the dusty desert trail, you catch a whiff of an unmistakable scent of snake oil. Old medicine show. Check it out now. 
Ooh, another ranch nearby, partner. You know, I'll ride right by, right, right by in the middle of the ter, middle of the territory. Back when the cows came home, this is right about where the first reports came out. Like Ground Zero. Yep, that was a big ranch. That was the first one to go. Seems like an obvious place to check out. House from Ranch. Okay. All right, what is this place? Most of these books are fake, but one is the real one. Oils I have known. Tells you <laughs> boosts oils and potions. Potionology. Your potion make mixing skills are the toast of the list. You can grow up impressive snake oil concoctions. Ironically, the oils from your fingers destroy the fragile oil book while you are reading it. Okay. Ooh. What do you want to combine it with? Uh, patent moisturizer. Shadow Snake Juice. Range damage but short by 10 for the rest of the day. Nice. Snake Schnapps. Schnapps. Patent Liver Tonic. Flammable Bullet Oil. Deals hot damage to an enemy. And Venom Oil. Venomous Bullet Oil. Deals some damage to an enemy and poisons them. Neat. And stop chemist raisin. Former residence nightstand. Got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I think that's about it from here. What? Docile Rekatix Milkshake Hour? How would I be able to read that? Anyway, let's head over to this ranch. Near a gunshot. Map, I need horse swoggling for. Man, from bullet pings off the a rock near your feet. You turn around, look for the culprit, see a skeleton a few hours away. Skeleton with a buffalo skull instead of a regular skull. So that's how your day is going. Okay. Oh. So that's gonna be tougher now, huh? Ow! That hurt. Buffalo bandolier. Plus seven pistol attack damage. This item goes on your lapel. Okay. Wow, this place is toast. Must have been a real barn burner of a party here. Uh, that's it. It's gotta be. Gotta be what? That's where those cows came home from. How do you know? I just know. Look at this place. Look at that thing. It's like someone went and tore a hole in nothing. What could it be? Guess we better check it out. All right, shoot it. <laughs> That. This is only a single enemy. I should be fine. Infernal Soul Fragment. Intriguing. You hear ominous mooing. Yeah, if I need harvest. Only part of this shed that didn't burn was part of the horseshoe was Ashu. This must be really good luck. Time goes in your offhand, plus six pistol attack damage. Uh. I'll take this. So now my pistol does way more damage. Soup stock load. Stop and smell the soup. The soup. What? I was over here. Why was it going over there? <laughs> Alright, so... Man, I need foraging for that. Yuck, a yuck. Alright, well, joy of joys. Another mind crawl around in. Ah, don't be a grump. It might strike a witch. Plus, this one smells pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of whiffed that myself. What is that? Come on, let's go see. Pile of tailings smells a lot like onions. Bunch of meat. Yay. Ooh, lock picking too. I got a hammer and a monkey wrench. Wrench things in certain places. Alright. You don't have a suitable vessel. What? It's a pool of boiling soup. Oh. I'm presuming I need to go deeper to get a suitable vessel. Cultist mask. Ooh. Plus six mysticality. This goes in my head, I think. Pretty sure it does. Yep. Elevator is inoperative. Attempt to fix it. You see three different size bolts on the side of the elevator, which are all very loose. The sign says 320, 320, sorry, 3,200 pounds of pressure required, and some sort of gauge will turn it to zero. 411. 706. 876. 
elevator still isn't working. Just for the noise is getting too so much pressure at this point. Loose a lot of the bolts. Yeah. Guys, I think I might have it. Yes! Yes! Looks like it's working now. Excellent! Whew. Finally. It took, it took me like half an hour for that. Ah, Alvarado's transponder goes crazy. Ooh, stuffs. Ooh, I need a keystone for that. Uh, man. Oh, hey, it's snakes. Uh, you need at least 20% hot resistance to cross. Fort Memorium. Let's go there now. Alright. Guys peering intently at the figures on the table and muttering about line of sight. Hi, I'm Jimothy. I'm Mike. I'm Mike. You have line of sight issues? Yeah, they don't let me have my tape measure on the board when, it's, when it isn't my turn anymore, so I have to eyeball it. Looks like you could get a guy. You got a hit on that front guy. You have partial cover though. Yeah, I think you mean soft cover. Oh, you're playing fourth edition. Well, yeah, third edition was like total cludge. Man, you and my brother would be better enemies. You seem to be taking this game real seriously. Well, of course, you gotta play to win. Otherwise, what's the point? Having fun? Exactly. And winning is how you do that. You seem to be t uh take your leave. Anyway, it's, I'm going to. Leave this episode here, West Pole. <laughs> and reboot Hill. And I don't have any binoculars. <laughs> Listen, how a chase chess game they got going on there? Well, yeah, it's t not totally unlike chess, but the war metaphor is a lot less metaphorical. Also, you don't typically need a tape measure for chess. It looks complicated. I brother took a correspondence course in jurisprudence. To pr improve his rules debating technique. <laughs> okay then. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please make sure you smash the like button in the face like a boss. I'll see all of you in the next video. In the meantime, do a do an awkward Russian dance.